you know one of the people i spoke to at the podcast a lady called jennifer gavi burger um she actually also talks about listening to our body uh, for cues as well you know sometimes listening we we limit it to the world of grammar and english and language but sometimes there are a lot of cues that we can get through our body in terms of how we feel you know how our our wrist clenching or uh, is our back stiffening and so on which i thought was quite profound in the way we listen to ourselves uh, any any nuance there uh, rajiv in terms of listening to ourselves anything that you've sort of gleaned uh, through the years of this practice i think what you know her point is totally valid we can definitely pick it up in our physical sense as well right and and physical sense is not just yet one is the body the other is the 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 impact of sort of the emotions in the body right i mean whether it's the stiffening of the back or you know you just that sort of sinking feeling in your stomach if you are feeling nervous or something like that or you know or or sometimes a punch in the gut if somebody said something that you really sort of were extremely uncomfortable with and all of these just being attuned to that i think the other thing is as i said just the meditative nature is to be mindful all the time and as we build that practice of mindfulness we will naturally be just more aware it it just happens it it just you know it's like our uh it it it's like the radio right you tune it to a certain frequency and that's the music you're going to hear and you tune it to a different frequency you start hearing a different music so at, with mindfulness meditation practice you you will alter the frequency at which you are listening it'll just happen it's not a conscious thing and so forth it'll just happen you you'll you'll just be in everyday moment uh just more aware of what's happening inside you at different points in time 